It's time for Q&A with the credit game. Any guesses on how many credit accounts an underwriter would like to see? Four. <laughs> Any rationale behind that or just... No, just... Was... I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> so the underwriter would like to see two credit accounts. Oh, so close. At least two, I should say, okay. before they really feel like you're established. Okay. So one, that's great, great start. It will generate the score. You can actually have a high score with, um, with one credit account, but... So have one credit card and you're okay? And you would have a credit score and for some types of financing it would work, but especially for mortgage financing and, and for major types of uh, approvals, mm -hmm. they're looking for at least two. If you're going into a mortgage with your spouse or somebody, mm -hmm. um, would it be two from each person? That's or... a great question. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I never even thought, I, I don't think I've ever had that question before. Oh, but no. it, it, it is a good a really one. Maybe that's a really dumb question. <laughs> no, it's or... really good. There's no such thing as dumb questions. That's right. In order to use the income of that individual applicant, mm -hmm. they would require the two credit accounts for that person. Oh, okay. So uh, if someone, if a spouse had eight credit accounts, that doesn't necessarily carry over to the other. Okay. There are exceptions. So if you had one and your spouse had really strong credit, yeah. then the underwriter would probably look past it because they have that strong co Okay. But they, they really would like to see two credit accounts on each applicant. Okay. 